What's up, YouTube? Joint Venture back again with the first Outriders World Slayer Scrapnel build. Well, not really a build, it's more of an update to the system. What's changed in regards to the Horizon update and the World Slayer update that came out this week? To keep it short, to be honest, nothing has changed. Scrapnel Techno is still as fun as it used to be. It's still as, I would call it quote-unquote viable as it used to be. And um, pretty much all the other build guides that I made um, for the Horizon patch and before, they still hold up. Scrapnel still absolutely works. It's a lot of fun to play, even if you're solo or if you're running in a group. Honestly, I haven't played in a good group yet, but I would assume it scales very, very well. And you can still play your, like, support role, scrapnel debuff, interrupt character, and just utilize all the benefits scrapnel has to offer. I'll just give you a really quick one rundown of what I've found so far and what has been really helpful. I just completed my first uh, Tire Gratar run and I had no issues whatsoever. I got to the end boss with one life left. I was really stupid on one of the bosses where you have to stand on the platform where the stones sink into the floor. I didn't get that mechanic and killed myself twice in a row, but that was my own fault. It wasn't like, you know, the bosses who killed me. Um, so that was a mistake on my own because I just didn't know anything about the mechanics. But other than that, I really had no problem running through the whole story solo. I didn't die once. I ran through the first run until the last boss of the uh, Tire Gratar endgame zone with, like I said, with one life left, and it was really easy. I found this weapon on my way there with level 51 um, because uh, it had Toxic on it, and I benefit a lot, uh, or Scrapnel now benefits from uh, Toxic even more. I've got some CC on there with the Winter Blast mod. I dropped on Legendary Minefield because I really like that mod. It's a kind of a personal favorite of mine. Um, it might not be one of the top tier damage mods, but... It just ties into the whole theme of Scrapnel really, really well because it drops like mini explosives all around, the same it does as with the um, Scrapnel. Um, I'm still wearing the same gear. I've put two levels in here. I've leveled it up since, but I've still got two bo uh, both mods on here uh, or the, the regular legendary versions of it. I don't have any Apocalypse gear besides these. Um, I just took these because I'm getting extra damage versus... Um, Toxic enemies, I switched Untamed Power uh, onto, or put, I put Untamed Power onto these gloves because I had it on the purple gloves I was using before, and I found these because it gave me emergency stance, and I really needed a pair of boots, all the gloves, it doesn't matter, um, that had the resistance piercing on there. But yeah, I mean, besides me having two tiers or two pairs of Apocalypse gear, all the mods are still the same as in my previous builds. And that's it. The when it comes to the skills, hasn't changed. Blighted turret, blighted rounds, scrapnel, and the class tree hasn't changed. I didn't touch a bit. None of the nodes have been changed. There are no values that they've been nerfed or buffed or whatever it is. So don't touch this. With the pax points, um, I went up this way. I took the initial striker. So if I activate a skill, that could be melee or any other skill, right? I get anomaly or firepower by 10%, depends on which is higher. My anomaly power is higher, so I get another 25K right off the bat here. But if this scales up and you've got like 400K, 500K plus, you get 50K on top. So it scales from that, which is really, really nice. Um, and then I went with lethal devices, which, Finally, your Scrapnel now uh, uh, applies Toxic to enemies and does another additional 5% power when toxics, Toxic is refreshed. So either from the... Um, uh, it doesn't work on the Blighted Turret because I'm not using that, but it works on Grenade, which is really, really nice. And then I went with Painkiller with damaging, gives me some more health regen. Um, interrupt, which is great because Scrapnel interrupts everything which is really, really cool, and it removes the effect resistance. Now, if you recall, when enemies have that blue glowing, what is it, like a star right next to them where they've hit like a kind of a run vulnerability 
stage, no damage gets through them and they can't be resisted. If you have this node, you will, uh, you will remove that effect so all the damage is getting through. So this is an absolute must-have for every Scrapnel build. And depleted core that uh, scales your ordnance skill by 100% of your status power, which is really nice. Um, none of these have status power, I believe. Let me check again. Yes, this piece of gear has status power on there. And this has status power. So it scales of 100%. So all my ordnance skills, Scrapnel, plus all the anomaly power buffs that you're getting, this everything gets a total damage bonus of like close to 70%, which is great, right? Um, I stuck with this purple weapon because you really need the armor pierce. If you see my previous videos, I was using the juggler in the previous videos, but unfortunately, scrap grenade and grand opening got hit with a massive nerf, not damage-wise, but when it comes to the cooldown time, right? Both of these were on a one second cooldown. They've nerfed it to three seconds. And that's a big problem because the because you have to shoot once and reload. And that's going to take one and a half seconds. And then you have to wait another one, one and a half seconds until these mods become active again. So the juggler, unfortunately, is really useless now for Scrapnel Techno. So at the beginning, I said that I, uh, I was using this because it was the best one that I could find that had armor pierce on it, and it came with that bonus status power. So I'll get that extra 70% damage buff to all my ordnance skills. Ascension points, I went with some anomaly and some brutality. I put uh, armor piercing bonus, right? Because we need that, the armor piercing. This goes with, where is it, where is it, where is it? Here we go, increases my resistance pierce by 100% of my armor pierce. So resistance pierce, you need, uh, here we go, resistance pierce, you need the percentage of, a percentage of enemy resistance that's ignored when dealing ability damage. And ability damage is scrapnel. So 70% of their resistance are getting ignored and all that damage just goes through. So the higher the resistance pierce, the more damage effectively you're going to do. I went with resistance pierce and I went with armor pierce. So these both stack with each other, right? And then just some anomaly power bonus to get my total anomaly power up. And then in the long run, I also want anomaly damage bonus, but I'm, I haven't as, uh, leveled my ascension points uh, very far. I think, um, as you saw in the gameplay video, I think I'm only, here you go, ascension level 20 and only apocalypse tier 17. So, but all in all, I can really say Scrapnel is still a lot of fun. Um, s stick with whatever you still had prior, and uh, if you should should get some upgrades, just try and switch them around as you see fit. But otherwise, Scrapnel still viable? Absolutely. No, well, that's the end of the video already. So thanks very much for watching, and uh, once I find some more time to grind some uh, more levels and get some better gear. I'll make sure to update you guys, okay? Thanks for watching, and thank you very much for the support on all the watched hours on the last few videos. It's great, all the Outriders fans out there. Thank you very much for watching these videos and dropping a sub when you can, so uh, it's really, really appreciated. Thank you very much, guys. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time.